I grew up um, in a small uh, rural community. I went to a country school and we were Christians from all denominations. And um, we were Roman Catholic. Somebody was Anglican, someone was Lutheran, someone was United Church. But we never focused on that. We just respected everyone. After I finished my training uh, to be a nun, I uh, went to Teachers College and uh, got my background for education. I began an ecumenical center for the Archdiocese when I was still working in the schools. And then when we founded the Edmonton Interfaith Center, well, I left the schools, worked with the Archdiocese for a few years, and then I moved completely to Interfaith and uh, ran the Edmonton Interfaith Center. My goal there was to bring multi-faith people together so they could meet one another, speak to one another, shed the fears, have an appreciation for one another. One of the first experiences was in 1986. The Archbishop asked me to work with a rabbi to coordinate a prayer service and dialogue at the synagogue. And um, we held it on a Sunday afternoon. And it was just, that was the first kind of event in Edmonton, especially amongst Jews and Christians. I think we might have been the model. I remember even receiving phone calls from England regarding our center. Safe and Caring Schools used to be a department of Alberta teachers. They thought it was very important that students be aware of multi-faith. So they asked me to coordinate lesson plans respecting all faiths. The best advice that anyone ever gave me your strength lies within you. And that was given to me quite some time ago. I've never forgotten it. <music>